From time to time, it's smart to step back and take a good, broad look at the marketing landscape. The beginning of a new year is the perfect time to do this, especially since there's some stormy looking clouds on the marketing horizon. Of course, it's not all foul weather out there. In this video, I'll share five key trends and considerations to factor into your 2024 marketing strategy. In the realm of social media marketing, there are three hot topics to talk about. The fall of X, the rise of threads, and what the heck is blue sky? We've had so many clients ask us if they should continue posting to X. The gist of it is this. Over the last year, the platform's lost about 15% of its active user base, but according to HubSpot, 34% of users say they'll continue using the platform in 2024 and 16% actually say they're gonna start using it more often. Our guess is that those users are primarily right-winged conservatives. Not that there's anything inherently wrong with that. You just need to decide whether you want to align your brand with a right-leaning platform and whether your brand's core values align with that vernacular. Now we've mostly stopped posting to X, but we gotta say we're loving threads. I think that Threads is the social platform we've all been really needing. No political lean, no intense trolling, no advertising even, just lighthearted, irreverent, and cheeky content. It's a place where you can have some fun, take some risks, and even be a little bit edgy. We're still waiting to see how this platform ultimately shakes out, especially in regard to marketing and advertising. But we do recommend, at the least, scooping up a handle, and scoping out what other businesses and leaders in your industry are posting about. A few other key things to know about threads. First, you need an Instagram profile in order to create a threads profile, but you can create a threads profile for every Instagram profile you manage. Threads are limited to 500 characters, and in addition to text-based posts, you can also share pictures and videos too. Threads uses tags instead of hashtags, but you input them the same way, so it's like potato, potato. And one thing we've learned through posting to threads is really to focus more on starting conversations rather than on driving traffic back to your website. Oh, and don't forget to follow us on threads. <laughs> There's also been some buzz about former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey's new social media platform, Blue Sky. Not shockingly, Blue Sky will be fairly similar to Twitter in form and function. There's a 300 character limit, and it's intended to be a text-based platform, and the platform itself looks almost exactly like Twitter. But here's the catch, it's invite only. Another cool feature is that Blue Sky will be a decentralized open source network. This means users will have some control over how the platform operates and what add-ons are ultimately developed. I'm really interested to see how businesses and leaders adopt this platform because Blue Sky will be an ads-free space. The platform plans to make money by selling premium handles. Basically, a free handle will include bsky.social in it, but you can pay to purchase a premium, well-branded handle. This is definitely a platform we'll be keeping an eye on in 2024. And uh, hey, Blue Sky, <laughs> send me that invite code, please. Think about this. If Facebook gave users the option to pay for an ads-free platform, how would it impact your marketing strategy? We ask because this literally just happened in Europe. Due to changes in the regulatory landscape, Facebook has been forced to offer an ads-free platform for about 10 euros a month. Could that happen here in the States? Maybe. But even if it did, reports show that users wouldn't necessarily adopt it in droves However, the users who would adopt it are those who have a little extra cash burning a hole in their pocket, which is a key target audience for many advertisers. While an ads-free Facebook option is still a huge what if, it would probably still be smart for you to start hedging your bets. Instead of putting all your advertising eggs in the Facebook basket, focus on organic social media and user-generated content, invest in SEO, Start exploring Google Ads and other pay-per-click options. Experiment with alternative advertising platforms like Reddit and Yelp. 
and grow your word of mouth referral and customer loyalty programs. I am honestly so sick of seeing AI generated drivel on social media, in emails, and on blogs. The content lacks depth and originality, and frankly is a little misleading. Why is it okay to pass off robot generated content as if it's your own? It's content marketing catfishing, and we just want it to stop, please. <laughs> Fortunately, some experts expect that regulations will change, and companies will need to start publicly crediting AI for their content. Are you willing to credit AI with all that thought leadership content you've been peddling as your own? This year, please stop using AI to generate content. Instead, use it to support the soft skills and reasoning abilities that only a human can possess. AI is a great solution for optimizing your internal processes, improving your products and services, even to the point that they may become worth more money, and solving your team's internal processes and sticking points. SEO is about to become a lot less important. Google will be launching its search generative engine in early 2024. Now, when someone types a question into Google, they'll get what's called an AI snapshot. The snapshot will use AI to answer the question and thoroughly at that. Experts are already saying that click-through rates are gonna plummet for any results appearing below the snapshot. But this shouldn't have as much of an impact on keyword or phrase-based SEO strategies. For example, searches for social media marketing agency or logo designer wouldn't trigger an AI snapshot, but questions like why do small businesses need social media marketing or what are the elements of good logo design would become largely irrelevant. So this year, make sure to adjust your SEO strategy to account for this impending change. Consider putting a little more emphasis on push-based marketing strategies like social media marketing, email marketing, or pay-per-click advertising. I'm honestly a little ragey that authenticity is being touted as a marketing trend this year. Authenticity is not a trend. It's a way of being. And I'm not gonna get into the whole, oh, well, we were authentic before authenticity became cool thing because none of that matters. What matters is that authenticity remains authentic and that brands don't start becoming fake authentic just to make more money. Of course, with more than 90% of consumers saying that authenticity is an important factor in deciding which brands they like, I'm afraid that's exactly what's gonna happen. We're gonna start seeing this watered down fake authenticity consumers are going to become hip to it because let's face it nothing is easier to sniff out than fake corporate bs and it's going to become harder than ever to connect with and build trust with our audiences if your brand truly cares about a certain social issue now is definitely the time to take a bold stance on it however if your brand only cares about making more money please leave authenticity out of your 2024 marketing strategy. Well, that's it for our 2024 Digital Marketing Trends Recap. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to talk to an expert on our team about how you can factor all of this into your 2024 marketing strategy, shoot an email over to info at birdhousemarketing.com or give us a call at 617-433-433. 8026. My name is Robin Agricola. I'm the CEO and founder of Birdhouse Marketing and Design, and I can't wait to help you do more of whatever it is you do.